All right, now that you have your pictures imported from your iPad, you will have a series of pictures and the easiest way to do this is click on the first picture, scroll down, hit the shift key, click on the last picture, and then drag them all into the timeline. As you can see, these pictures are two seconds long. So if you click on it, it should say a time, two seconds. So let's go ahead and play this and let's see how it looks. Okay, so right now it's going a little slow and you're really not getting the stop motion effect. So let's play with this a little bit. Okay, so what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to come in and you're gonna have to just drag the um, cursor till they're one second long. Now let's see if we get the desired effect. Let's play it. Well, it's a little better, but I still feel like we can make these shorter. So let's go back in and let's make them 0.5 seconds long. So you just come, to, you just get this little arrow that's sideways and then just drag it. Okay, let's see if we get our desired effect. Okay, it's better. I still feel like we could do more. Let's try 0.3. And let's check this. Now it looks like it's moving. So that's what you would want to do. And then you also need to give your motion picture a title. So click on titles and drag a title in. And then at the end, you, I would like to know who worked on this film. So <clears throat> everybody has to have their own edit. So put edit your name and then who worked on the project. So you could say filmed by and then the people in your group. And then finally, you'll want to click the export button and export it as a file and put it into Dropbox and then you should be all done. So I'm really excited to see your pictures or to see your stop motion movies and I look forward to it. Have a good day. Hello.